talk about the Fit Fit. <laughs> Go pause. <laughs> <laughs> here to talk about the Fitbit, and if you don't know who this is, introduce yourself. Hi, Mr. Universe. Okay. Mr. Universe. So, we both own the Fitbit Charge HR. I have it in an orange, red, and you have it in... A blue. A blue. And what we're going to do is talk our pros, cons, and if we recommend the Fitbit. We're going to talk about the features on the Fitbit Charge HR. What it includes is a button on the side that you can change from time, and then steps, heart rate, uh, how far you've walked, uh, how many calories you've burned, and then how many steps you've taken during the whole day. <clears throat> um, on the back is where the sensor is and it's always blinking, which is kind of annoying for me because sometimes when it's on my desk I can see it blinking at night. Um, the charging port is also on the back and it's a USB charge charger which you can either plug it into your computer or a wallet or anywhere else that has a USB and you can sync it up with your phone using the Fitbit app and you can update your, pro your profile um, daily, you can see your progress, you can also wear it to sleep. So now we're going to talk about our pros and I'm going to let him start so just talk about what you like about your Fitbit. So one thing I like is uh, the quality of the elastic band. It's a little stretchy and it does fit comfortably on your wrist even if I have it at like the tightest that I can put it and it is very lightweight. What I like about it is that it has a, wa a clock on it. Um, that's mainly what I use it for. It's pretty accurate. I have it on the setting where it says a time with the seconds on it. You could also change it to either just say you know minutes and hours. You could say minutes, hours, and the date. Um, all that is changeable on your on the app on your phone. So what I like about it is the uh, step counter that every time you hit a 10,000 uh, step mark that it vibrates and notifies you and that tends to kind of push me even further to go past 10,000 and maybe even reach another 10,000 by the end of the day. Like you were saying about the, the band, what I like about it is that it has a lot of different um, I don't even know what these are really called, but the holes, so you can adjust the size of it. Um, there's three different sizes. There's a small, small, medium, large, extra large, and then the bigger one? Or is there only two? I think there was only three. I think it's only small, large, and extra large. No, but there's a small, medium, large, extra large, remember? Now we're going to talk about our cons. Um, you can start with your cons, because I started with the pros. Did I start with the pros? Did you? I well, I'll start with the cons then. <clears throat> My first biggest con about it is that the stepper is very inaccurate. I noticed that if I shake my shake it too hard, it counts like 10 steps. So I feel like, yeah, I've reached the 10,000 mark, um, you know, the, the goal or whatever, but I don't really know if I've covered that many steps. So I just hate how inaccurate it is. I've even tested it putting it on his dog, on her collar, and she just ran like for five seconds and it counted like a hundred steps. One of the cons that I have about it is the fact that the band isn't interchangeable. Not that you don't have to show it. No. <laughs> Even though I did pick out this color, I wish that I did have more options. Like they sell the different uh, bands for the flex. Different right. designs, different designs. colors. Give it more versatility versus just sticking with the one color. Although the band is made out of really good quality and everything, mine gets dirty really fast. Like, I'll show at a closer angle later, but my, I think because of the color I have, since it's a brighter color, all the edges here are all dark. You see that? It looks, they kind of look burnt. And it's gross. I don't even know why it does that. And it started doing that in the beginning. Maybe if they made it easier to clean. Oh, mine's a size small. What's yours? Large. Oh, so they have a small, medium, and large. So they do have a sizing right there. Yeah, I didn't even know that they had <laughs> sizing on the band. Anyway, that's my one of my cons. The battery life. I, by all means, charge this all the time because literally I wore this for maybe three days at work and halfway okay. through the third day, it already started to show a notification that my battery was dying and of course it wasn't counting the 
steps or calories that I've made or burned. So you've lost all of that, yeah. pretty much. Probably lost about 10,000 steps already. Another con that I have is the quality of the screen. I mean, <clears throat> they say this is for the active person and not saying that I'm like out there rock climbing or anything, but I am a little rougher than probably he is with when it comes to like things I'm wearing. But mine cracked probably within the first two weeks of having it. Um, it cracked on the side, the, the whole front is scratched, and it's because it's made out of like a cheap plastic and not some sort of glass, like, you know, like the, the Apple Watch or even a watch like that. Techno Marine. <laughs> I think they could have spent a little bit more time on the quality of the screen to make it last longer because mine didn't last at all. kind of do wish that the screen of the band was a little bit bigger. I mean, mm -hmm. I have no problem, but I mean, from this and then a step up to the Fitbit Surge, it's, huge. it's a huge screen. It's literally a it's probably, watch yeah. size. Whereas this one, they could have at least put like half, at least up to just right there. Yeah, because all this is just kind of like dead space. Like it doesn't do anything. I mean, you can tap on it. I forgot to mention that earlier. You can tap to go Ooh. through it. Like, ah! See how long it takes to sync to the phone? Mine takes like at least two to three minutes every yes. time. <clears throat> and there was one time where I didn't use the watch for a while and it was dead for, you know, probably for like close to a month. Uh, I didn't use it. And once I turned it back on and I charged it, it still had the date and time from when I last used it. And in order to change it, I had to sync it with my phone and that took at least like half an hour. So that looks like it's all our pros and cons. We've talked about the features. Now it's time to say if we would recommend it to people, what would you say? I would say yes to someone who is constantly trying to be active, who is just even just running daily, weekly, whatever. If you want to go to the gym and have this on, just to track everything that you have. Even though some of you might have the Apple Watch, we don't. Um, <laughs> She wants one, uh, mostly. Um, but you know. someone's interrupting my my time to shine. You say, would you recommend it? Yes. Okay. Only if you could get it at a good price. Okay. Sale price. And for me, I don't think I would recommend it to anybody. Well, actually, I know I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Because another thing that I forgot to mention is that the Charge HR and the Charge, which is one step lower, are practically the same thing except for the heart rate monitor. And the heart rate monitor for me is like, I don't care for it. And I don't know why I spent more money on this one than when I could have just got the other one. Actually, I, I do know. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> so to the Charge HR, with, I would say no. Maybe when it, if it came to the Charge or the Flex, it'd be a yes. I feel like I would like the Flex more because it's simpler, more simple, you can change the bands, you know, it, it does everything that these ones do, pretty much except it doesn't have a watch. So I don't think I would recommend this to anybody. It really isn't that fancy, it really doesn't blow my mind, so I would say no. Anyway, so thanks again for watching all of my videos and the videos with him. Um, hopefully he'll be in them more often. Let us know if you liked our review and if you want to see more from us. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.